Hello everyone, today I'm bringing you a review of a gaming headset. As a matter of fact, it's the Onikuma gaming headset. So let's get you down to the wood top and see what you get inside the box. Okay, so here's the Onikuma gaming headset. Let's see what you get. Of course, I've already had this out for testing. Let's see, you get an instruction manual. Yes, it is very easy to read and understand. And it's also in a couple different languages. You get this offer for a free gaming mouse. No, I'm not going to tell you everything about it. You're going to have to buy one to get it. And you, of course you get the gaming headset and a nice Ziploc type bag. And it's pretty heavy duty actually. It's not like some real thin, cheap plastic wrap, wrap uh, that some of the companies use. And of course you get the headsets themselves. There is LED lights in here. I'll show you those in a little while. You get a very good flexible microphone. Which is kind of like on a gooseneck type so you can really kind of bend it however way you want to do it. So. You get a nice braided cable. I don't know if my camera will bring pick that up, but it's a nice braided cable. And the cable is about six, maybe six and a half feet long. And here's the controllers, all on the left-handed side, so you can't turn it around and be on the right side. It'll probably be a little awkward that way, so it's only on the left-hand side. This is your volume control. This is the mute button for the microphone, and that's the mute button for the headphones. Of course, that's it. It has the Oki Kuna branding right there. And on this end here, it already came, mine already came installed with an adapter. A little bit more on that in just a second. But here's the, the post. And as you can see, it's a TRRS post. That's where the adapter comes in, but once again, just in a minute. And you get a typical USB plug. Now this is strictly for the LED lights. That's it. it you, what I mean by that is you, if you were to just plug this into your USB port, only the lights will come on. You won't hear nothing, and you won't be able to use the microphone. It's either strictly going to be this plug here, Or you can use the adapter. Now these are your basic TRS uh, plugs. The red one here is for the microphone. The green one here is for the headphones or the headset if you will. So if you have a desktop PC that will not accept a TRRS plug, you just simply plug it in. And plug these into your sound card the way you're supposed to and away you go. Or what I'll do too is the good thing about having this adapter is I'm going to, a little bit later in the video, I'm going to use the adapter and plug it into my camera and you can hear what the microphone sounds like. Alrighty, that's pretty much it. Let me show you what the LED lights do and then we'll get on more with the video, with the review. Okay, now that you've seen what you get inside the box, let's talk about the headphones themselves. The sound on these is really, really good. They do have a great bass response. Now, they're not bass heavy, but they do have a really good bass response to them. You do get a lot of night. When listening to music, uh, you're going to be getting a lot of good thumps out of it, a lot of good booms. The mid-range is nice and punchy, and the high-end is really crisp and clear. It's not clinical, meaning like um, it just sounds okay. No, these really do make music kind of come to life for a gaming headset. Um, now, playing games, you're really going to notice, at least I did, I noticed the deep bass in these. Whenever a grenade exploded someone died you know or 
some some other explosion or gunshots you can really hear it in here um the mid-range like i said does not muddy the sound at all it is nice and clean you can really hear like when you punch somebody or the knife going into someone if you're stabbing somebody so you can really hear that and the high end while playing games is perfect you can hear the high crack of a sound of uh, like a rifle shot or a gunshot going off that really nice crisp cracking sound that you hear you can really hear that in these now the cushioning is very comfortable um this has to be one of the best feeling cushions i've had in a long time um in a headset especially a gaming headset but they're really comfortable and when you put them on they just it's almost really like putting a nice soft pillow on your on your ears now these are 50 millimeter drivers on these so they do fit around the ear really nice you can just set them on there and there's very little wiggling to do to get your ears fully incorporated into the cups you really don't have to wiggle them around too much you could just slip them on and you're off and ready to go and of course you know the, the adjustment since there is no adjustment here there's nothing to go up and down or tilt right here there's no access or a hinge mechanism on it it's all just right here for an up and down motion and they fit really nice i mean if i were to put them down all the way you can see how low that goes that goes almost down to my jawline so they do sit pretty nice on the head and the microphone is a real nice gooseneck type flexible microphone so you can really kind of put it in some really strange angles if you need to and the only thing i would say about the microphone be careful of the spit guard it tends to fall off real easy so my opinion would be maybe to um, get like one of those metal twist ties to put on there or a nice rubber band rubber band it up don't put tape on it that's just going to ruin it but uh, just tie it down maybe with a uh, twist tie or a rubber band or if you have the small zip ties the real kind of thin ones you can go to a dollar store usually and get those you can put that on there to keep it there but just don't do it too tight in case you need to take the spit guard off now these weigh 300 grams and if my math is correct that's about what 10 and a half ounces you do tend to feel that when you have it on your head but you don't feel it up here on your head you you mainly feel it on the sides of where your ears are so that's not bad at all um, my ears did get a little warm after about an hour and a half of playing games with this with these headsets i went ahead and played for about a good four hours uh i'm a pc gamer mainly but uh just to tell you some of the games i played i played um unreal tournament 2004 fear fear 2 and fear 3 and i played them for actually about four and a half hours and my ears did not get sweaty with these on okay my head wasn't even uncomfortable the when you put them on you can feel it press slightly against your head very slightly but it's not a strong pressing motion inward on your head so even after the four hours four and a half hours i was playing it never felt like it was cr you know pushing in and crushing my head so that was a really nice thing i do like how long the cord is um, it's about six, maybe six and a half feet long. So that's really nice. And the one thing I do like what Onikuma did is they did give you this adapter right here because this is a TRRS post. So, you know, and if your system doesn't take that, and if it takes one of these right here, the TRS ones, you just simply plug in the adapter, 
Each one of these is marked for microphone or headphone, and away you go. And the USB plug that you get on here, the USB plug is strictly for the, the lighting in the headphones. And I'll show you that in just a moment. But that's just for the lights in the headphones. That's it. You can't connect it up via USB to run the microphone or listen to anything. It's just for powering the lights, okay? Well, that's about it. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to plug this now into my camera, my Panasonic Lumix G6, just so you can hear what the microphone sounds like. Okay, so right now I have the microphone plugged into my camera, and what you're listening to is all the sound coming out of the microphone. Sorry about tapping it there. Now you can have it as close as you want, like right now it's barely touching my lips. You can have it out a little bit further if you like. You can have it downwards. You can have it up all the way over here if you want. So you, it's very flexible so you can move it any way you want. The volume control is right here. You do get a headphones and you do get a Oops, I'm sorry. This top button right here in the middle is actually a mute button for the microphone. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to talk a little bit and ramble. At some time during that rambling, I'm just going to go ahead and shut off or mute the microphone for you. Just so you it does actually work. And then the other button here on the bottom is to mute the, uh, the headphones themselves. Well, that's about it. Till the next video, you have a fantastic day.